damn you, Jig. It's Jin. Never mind. But don't be so hard on yourself. Even if your father did just lock you up in a cellar for your own safety. Third wish is always tricky. Better luck on your next one. My next one? I, I get another wish? Who ever told you a genie only grants three? Aladdin? Every genie story ever? A genie can grant or ignore any wish they choose. We won't work against our own self-interest, so you can forget about wishing me dead. But if you'd like another wish to reset your life, right back to where we began, I can do that on one condition. Anything. What? You give me the urn. Oh, I knew you were going to screw me. You used my words against me right from the start. Like you said, I'm a monster. I should have trusted your gut. You trapped me in the worst situation imaginable just so you could get what you want. The urn is a small price to pay to see suffering like this. You don't know anything about suffering. Don't I? As all jinn are, I was born into five centuries of suffering. 500 years of realizing other people's dreams before I'd ever have the chance to pursue one of my own. And in the 499th year of my term, I crossed paths with a true monster. And it consumed me, sent me to a place of total isolation, utter damnation. Malivore. I know. So what? I wandered there, lost and alone until I was given one final chance to win my freedom. So accept my offer and wish me the urn. If I wish you the urn. I'm giving you the key to a supernatural apocalypse. Oh, isn't that technically against your self-interest? Quite the opposite. It's my only hope. Because if I return the urn to Malivor, then I am free and at peace. Whatever happens after that is not my problem. Selfish? Said the pot to the kettle. I don't know why we're debating. This life is dreadful, so wish it away. Shut up, okay? I just, I need to think. I need to find a loophole. There is no loophole. Magic always has a loophole. Yeah? Well, you better find it quickly. Things are taking a hell of a turn up there. What do you mean? <laughs>